Hi Libras, let's talk about what you can expect from Pluto in Aquarius. Pluto in Aquarius is entering your fifth house. The fifth house is the house of love and romance, uh, hobbies, interests, fun, in your inner child, exploration, joy, love, and also children. So Pluto is the planet of huge transformation. It's also the planet of destroy and create. So it may destroy a lot of opportunities so that it can create a lot of new opportunities. So this is the energy of the Phoenix, the energy of um, completely destroying something so that it can rebuild from the ashes something new and something exciting and something that is reborn. Um, so when it comes to your fifth house, uh, Pluto is asking you to completely transform your idea of joy <laughs> and your idea of having fun. Uh, maybe you've had fun uh, before in your, in, in your past, but right now you're thinking about, okay, what is healthy and what is for me, what is not for me. Uh, you may find, you may um, actually stop with your hobbies because this is something that maybe will end hobbies that you don't like you don't have time for you don't find enjoyable anymore they don't they don't give you they don't they don't bring you joy they don't bring you positive emotions so you may stop doing those hobbies you may stop doing these things but you may find out uh, that there's there are so many new options pluto is the planet of you know destroy all things that are not working create new opportunities so you may find out that there are more interesting hobbies out there for you there are a lot of new and different ways of of experiencing joy of having fun uh, that you've never even thought before um, it may transform your love life also you may become pluto may make you more mysterious but at the same time more intense and at the same time more powerful in love. It may ask of you to become more power, powerful and to become more serious about the people you're dating. Uh, to not be so light, to not be so um, maybe promiscuous also, to be more intense, to be more serious, to, to choose more uh, precisely and to uh, deepen your connections with people uh, and your love and romance may deepen may, may transform uh, so your hobbies your interests your your the way you're having fun is going to transform into something a lot of your hobbies even may bring you something powerful it may not be money but it may be you may meet friends you may meet uh, people who think alike like you you may me meet uh, maybe your future your future partner but your hobbies become powerful during this transit your interests you the the, the things that are, uh, are making you feel joy uh, you understand that feeling joy and love is actually a human right and you are supposed to be feeling it also you're not also you're not just supposed to work and that's it um and we were talking about inner child you're going to have to transform your relationship with your inner child you have to completely change the way you're dealing with your inner child and actually bring it out to play bring the child to play when talking about children uh, there are a few ways that I can translate it. Uh, you may you may have children. This may make you even more powerful and intense than before because you have such a deep connection and joy from your children and children in in general that uh, they will give you inspiration. Children will give you joy. Ch children will give you inspiration. Um, at the same time, though, with children you have. They may, uh, there may be power struggles with your children. Uh, this is because Pluto is the planet of transformation and power. So the things that, for example, children are making you powerful, children will make you, your own children and other children will make you powerful. But at the same time, it will have, it will have power struggles. Your children may want to be... Um, 
independent, powerful, intense, and you may not be able to let them go. You may not be able to see them as they are. Maybe they've, they've grown and you, you, you haven't even noticed. Uh, or they may need a, for you to, 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 to stop controlling them, maybe. To, uh, to, to stop being so powerful in their life so that they can have an independent life of their own. So a lot of power struggles, but in the way that it, power shifts in this house and it must find a way how to, uh, how to be. So let's talk about Scorpio. Hi Scorpios, let's talk about what you can expect from Pluto in Aquarius. Pluto in Aquarius is entering your fourth house. The fourth house is uh, the house connected to home, house, uh, family that you are born into, uh, also connected to mother or mother, mother figure, uh, deep emotional roots, nationality, country. So what does it mean? <laughs> Pluto is the... Pluto is the planet of huge transformation. It is the planet of destroying so that it can create new opportunities. So when Pluto is entering your fourth house, this is going to be a very long transit. So Pluto is going to stay in your fourth house for a long time. So in, with, in, in your fourth house, it means huge transformation in your home and house situation. It may be that um, something may happen to your old home or house and that you are, you are uh, pushed to find a new home, to find a new house. You can uh, completely transform it. You can, you can basically destroy it so that you can rebuild from the ashes. That's the Phoenix energy of, the, of Pluto. So when, it, when it's connecting to your home, uh, you may be absolutely sure that a lot of complete dramatic changes will happen. Um, so it may be that you are uh, remodeling the entire, the entire house, your, your entire house uh, or apartment, the, the, your home. Uh, or you also may become a homeowner, something that is completely transformative in your life. Uh, Pluto is the, is the planet and energy of power. So uh, it being a homeowner will give you power that you've never had before like that. Uh, so this is a lot of transformation and changes connected to houses, apartments, your home, the home that you were born into. Uh, the fourth house is also connected with your parents. Uh, it may mean a lot of dramatic transformations with your parents. It may become, it may, it may mean that you become a lot of power struggles here also, but you, it may mean that you become the powerful one. You were the powerless in this relationship, child, parents, but now you are the powerful one. You may also be the power that um, they need so that um, you may start taking care of your parents or you may be uh, the one that helps them with their, uh, with, with their lives, with their future. Uh, it's the fourth house is also very connected to your mother or mother figure. It it's a lot of transformation with your mother. Um, it may ask of you to have a more from on the on, on one side. It may mean that you will deepen your relationship with your mother. Uh, you you. Uh, you have an intense relationship and you will have an intense relationship with your mother. At the, uh, the other hand, Pluto may ask of you to have a, a, a less powerful relationship with your mother so that you can have your own life and nobody is dependent on nobody in, in this relationship. Uh, maybe Scorpios, you have a very dependable relationship with your mother. Maybe you have a very powerful mother, even controlling. Pluto is a controlling energy. Um, but 
they, 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 there may be power struggles or you may, um, you may argue a lot with that and you may not want to have such a relationship. So this relationship will change uh, for sure, but it will change for better. It will change into a healthy, the most healthy relationship. Um, also, uh, the fourth house is connected with country nationality roots, your roots in this world. It may mean that you may be re relocating, you may be changing your homes, uh, your countries, you may be changing, this is a very long transit, so you may be completely changing your nationality, your country, your roots, um, and you are asked, you are, you are being asked to work on a lot of a lot of your deep emotional stuff that are <laughs> very in here inside. They may be connected to your parents, especially your mother, and uh, the home that you were born into. So let's talk about Sagittarius. Hi Sagittarius, let's talk about what you can expect from Pluto in Aquarius. Pluto is entering your third house. The third house is the house of communication, learning, skills, the voice. What does it also? Siblings, neighbor. So what does it mean? What does it mean to have Pluto in Aquarius in your third house? This is, um, Pluto is the planet of complete transformation. It's the planet of destroying uh, opportunities so that uh, new opportunities are created. So Pluto will completely transform your communication, the way you're communicating with people. You may have also um, uh, up until now realized that it's not very, your communicating uh, style, it's not very maybe effective. It's not bringing you the results you would like. So you will, Pluto will deepen your learning. You, Pluto will deepen your skills so that you may find and train your voice, your communication in order to become a very powerful speaker. So Pluto in Aquarius is a very long transit. So at the end of this transit, you Sagittarius will come out beca uh, becoming an incredible speaker, an incredible writer, a powerful communicator. But until then, <laughs> until you come out like that, you have to learn and you have to transform your communication. You may go to a lot of... Um, a lot of um, communication seminars. You may you may read a lot of books. You may watch a lot of videos. You may listen to a lot of things. But you will find that you are drawn to how to create, how to find, and how to train your voice. How to train your voice so that people hear you. You can communicate in a very effective way so that you get what you want from people and you get your point across the way you would like your point to be across. Uh, so this Pluto is actually transforming your style of communicating, your style of communicating with other people. It, it, it's, also, uh, it's also transforming the, the way you're communicating with yourself because first self, then others, <laughs> always. Um, also, uh, the third house is the house of teaching writing. Uh, as we said, powerful, a powerful teacher, a powerful writer, but before that you have to transform your style, you have to transform your ways of doing things, you have to learn, you have to sharpen your skills, you have to gain new skills, you have to, you have to train yourself so that you may become the most powerful teacher and writer and speaker. Also, the third house is connected with siblings and neighbors. Uh, a lot of power struggles may appear during this long transit, but this will be because these people may become very pow powerful in your life. They may bring you a lot of power. Uh, you may become neighbors with a lot of powerful people, so may, you may use them in, uh, in your advantage. Your siblings may also be becoming powerful. They may be growing into their power. or you and your sibling may become um, a power duo, a power dynamic that <laughs> is actually great for you. So let's talk about Capricorn. 
Hi Capricorns, let's talk about Pluto and Aquarius and what you can expect. This is a very long transit. This is years long transit. So Pluto and Aquarius is entering your second house. The second house is the house of material goods. Um, finances, money, house, cars, clothes, food, comforts, luxuries, but also self-worth and talents. So Pluto is uh, the planet of complete transformation. So in during this transit, your relationship with material goods will completely transform. It's always uh, it is it, uh, um, sorry. <laughs> At the same time, uh, Pluto is also going to transform your relationship with your talents and your self-worth. Pluto may destroy a lot of opportunities in your life so that it can create new opportuni opportunities that are better for you, that are better for you. So uh, Pluto may deepen your desires for material goods and comfort and luxuries, but it may ask of you how you can, what are your talents? What, what are you bringing to the table? How are, you, how are you going to have all of these good, amazing things, incredible things that you don't, don't deserve yet? You have to deserve them. So Pluto will transform your self-worth. Pluto will transform your talents. You are going to have to train yourself to become self-worthy and talented. And you are going to be um humble but also very sure sure of yourself uh with the with 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 your talents and with your talents with your hard work with your own efforts uh you're going to achieve all of these material things and goods that you want these material uh comforts and luxuries it's not going to happen based on somebody else's efforts it's not going to happen because somebody else's somebody else likes you wants to invest in you wants to motivate you wants to give you things it's not going to happen like that it's going to be because of you <laughs> you have to find your own talents your own self-worth and you're going to work very hard for um, all of your material uh, comforts and, and goods uh, so that you actually enjoy everything in your life and you actually are very uh, joyful that you have all of these good things so in, in in during this this transit you're you're going to have to transform the way you look at the material world uh, you have to see the real world in not only into money but also in everything material including Food, clothes, uh, houses, homes, uh, everything that is of materials. Let's talk about Aquarius. Hi Aquarius, let's talk about what you can expect from Pluto in Aquarius. Pluto in Aquarius is entering your first house. The first house is the house of self, of yourself. Image, personality, characteristics, everything connected to yourself. Body, mind, heart, uh, the way you present yourself to the world, the way the, wo the world um, sees you at first glance. So, Pluto and Aquarius entering your first house. What does it mean for you? It's huge transformation in your life. Huge transformation. Um, a lot of changes. A lot of changes connected to your image, the way you present yourself, the way you take care of yourself. You have to understand that you right now are on the path of becoming powerful. But <laughs> power is an interesting thing because before becoming powerful, you will feel a lot like you are the most powerless person in the world. Nobody is listening to you. You are not uh, worthy of these things. You are not capable. You are not contributing to anybody or anything. And that's going to change. <laughs> that's going to completely transform and change because the world needs 
the perspective on, of an Aquarius. And everybody needs an Aquarius energy in their life. And you will slowly but surely start seeing that during this transit, the ideas, the, the fibers that you are made from is actually very respected in the world right now. So you will be welcomed almost everywhere. You, you will be wanted um, as a colleague, as a friend, as a, as a partner, as your ideas, your way of speaking, your thoughts, your vision will be wanted. <laughs> People will want you, the world, world will want you because we are going to be living, all of us, we're going to be living with Pluto and Aquarius. And Pluto and Aquarius, this long transit, is going to show us that the way is forward. The, the, the way is, we, we are going to the future. And you have the ideas, you have the vision, you have the, 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 the mind for these things. We don't have it. <laughs> so we are actually relying on you to show us the way, to show us how to do. So you're going to have to transform and you're going to have to transform very dramatically, very slowly. This is a very long transit. But after this transit, you will look back and you will probably not recognize yourself because you have become a powerful person, a powerful human being. Your ideas will be powerful, your image, your personality, your characteristics. That's why it was so important for you to, to have everything tested with Saturn in Aquarius in the last two, three years. Because right now there's absolutely no going back. It's completely forward. And forward is dramatic changes and transformations, but it's because you are in the progress of becoming incredibly powerful. You are the phoenix and you have to be reborn. You have to be reborn so that you will step into your power. You will go into your direction and we just follow. The rest of us, we just follow you. We don't know where we're going. <laughs> we don't know what's going on, but you know, you have the vision. You can see and you can understand. So a lot of your, the way you're thinking, the way you're, 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 mind works will transform the way you see the world will transform a lot because the world the world needs Aquarius energy to change and the absolute um, the the quickest way to transform is to transform with Aquarius human beings. <laughs> so they will know the direction. They will know the future before everybody else does. So in this time, in this period, during this transit, you become the leaders slowly but surely. It won't happen in one day. Okay, it won't happen in one day. Don't expect to wake up tomorrow and become the leader and the powerful human being. It's not going to happen like that. Slowly but surely, you will find that you are becoming more and more powerful. You will become a leader. And it's not going to happen because you crave these things. You're going to happen. It's going to happen because you dislike power. You dislike leaders. You know, it's not in your nature. You... you you are very uh, humanitarian. It's like a, I, a human being, am helping you, a human being, and they are helping the human being, the, the, the so and so and so and so. So we are a group. But slowly but surely, you will become the phoenix. Let's talk about Pisces now. Hi, Pisces. Let's talk about what you can expect with Pluto in Aquarius. Pluto in Aquarius is entering your 12th house. The 12th house is a very interesting house because it's the last house. Um, it's everything hidden, uh, your subconscious, self-demons, inner shadow, psychology. Um, so it's transformation and huge transformation in regards to 
Pisces subconscious and, and inner workings. Um, Pluto will transform everything in your subconscious. Pluto will transform everything beca- behind the curtains, <laughs> behind the power. Um, so all of the blind spots, all, all of the inner shadows, the, the, the self-demons, um, the all of the transformation of all of the inner workings. So a lot of battling with inner uh, inner demons, a lot of battling with maybe even substance abuses, uh, a lot of cleaning up, a lot of organization, transforming your psychology, transforming your psyche, transforming the way you are seeing the world, absorbing the world, um, but even without you understanding, because the tw- the twelfth house is a very the house of undoing. The twelfth house is the house of subconscious. Uh, it Pluto may transform completely your dreams. Even <laughs> it may uh, transform your maybe sleep cycle. It may transform your psyche, but without Pisces even knowing. But a lot of powerful transformation. Uh, this is the twelfth house is also the house of the final stages, uh, the final levels before the end so they this this is a, a spiritual death even some kind of death eight houses physical uh, death a 12th house is more of a, a spiritual death so here um here something is about to die <laughs> uh it may be an addiction that pisces has it may be uh Pisces being unreliable, Pisces being unrealistic, Pisces being not serious, um, and not uh, maybe directionless, maybe Pisces is being um, nervous and self-sabotaging. So it's a lot of ending, a lot of ending and cleaning up and organizing all of these things. Pisces cannot continue with these things that's not an if that's not what if i continue no you you cannot continue <laughs> you've gone you've gone so far you cannot go anymore that's it you cannot you have to change you have to transform you have to transform so that you can progress if you don't transform you cannot progress so we're going to transform everything that is holding you back the third house is psychology, subconscious, uh, not conscious of, of what is being transformed. Um, at the same time, Pluto is the planet of power um, and control even. So the third house is also connected with sleep and dreams, also with nightmares. But we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> we're going to talk about sleep and dream dreams. Uh, Pisces may have an incredibly active and powerful dream life during this transit. A lot of powerful dreams may, uh, Pisces may may sleep a lot because they may feel tired (laughs) because a lot of their inner behind the power, behind the curtains, a lot of their inner, inner things are being completely transformed. But nobody can see it. Nobody, even Pisces can, some, sometimes even Pisces can see it. So it's difficult for Pisces. It's, it's tiring. It's every day. It's, it's, it's a lot of work, a lot of transformation, uh, dramatic transformation, life or death transformation. So a lot of Pisces will want to sleep more. Uh, a lot of Pisces, Pisces will have a lot of powerful dreams so maybe it's a good idea to write the dreams down so that you don't lose an idea a powerful idea you don't lose a powerful revelation Uh, and all of this is so that at the end of the transit you will become organized and and cleaned um, out of your out of your um, 
weaknesses, addictions, um, demons, a lot of your subconscious self-sabotaging and, and uh, a lot of your self-undoing. So Pluto is here to push Pisces into greatness by transforming their inner work and psychology without even Pisces knowing. Thank you for being with me.